world we live in thrives on theories and every theory has an equal and plausible explanation but sometimes there are theories so bizarre explanations so inexplicable that a creative genius has to let the world know and have a little fun along the way welcome to fundamental we'll give you one to get you started the establishment of unexpected superiority by the anopheline family in other words mosquitoes are all knowing ultra awesome superior beings mosquitoes are everywhere they have been influencing and controlling us humans in ways we can't even imagine. Let's start at the beginning. Mosquitoes populated this planet about 300 million years ago, have outlived the dinosaurs, and have survived three mass extinctions. This is no small feat. Well, this billions of years of evolution is now one of mankind's worst nightmares. But you might think, hey, we're killing them off, right? You might have even murdered them in cold blood. Or uh, your cold blood. No. Reality check. All efforts to eradicate them so far have gone in vain. They just keep coming back, becoming all the more resistant to pesticides that we use. Remember the large scale use of DDT to kill them off? That didn't work in the long run. In fact, it ended up affecting more humans than insects. Have you used these ridiculously inefficient? and pointless mosquito bats. In our vain efforts in waving them around, we let out carbon dioxide and produce lactic acid as sweat. And that's exactly what mosquitoes use to detect us humans. This useless act ends up tiring us out, making us easier targets for mosquitoes. You can almost hear them laughing at us for our ignorance. Here's something to put things in perspective. Sharks kill 10 people annually. Humans murder 475,000 people annually and mosquitoes kill a whopping 725,000 people every year. Shark infested waters seem like paradise in comparison. The world's deadliest animals have got us in their iron grip using weapons like malaria, dengue, yellow fever and encephalitis. It threatens half the world's population and causes billions of dollars in lost productivity. Mosquitoes aren't just destructive. They are proponents of technological development. They even transfer data through human beings. In fact, a lot of today's human technology is inspired by mosquitoes. Sounds absurd. Let's take a closer look. This is an IC, or an integrated circuit. And this is a mosquito. The IC sure looks like a flattened mosquito, all black, with six legs and a flattened eye and mouth. Now, what is the mosquito known for? Its bite, obviously. And what are the basic units of digital information? Bits and bytes. Mosquitoes use a needle like proboscis, which has a strange similarity with a USB data cable. This data is carried in humans by the red blood cells, which bear strange resemblance with modern day hard disks and compact disks. So what happens when a mosquito bites us? They store data within us. This data can be stored for long periods of time and is accessible to other mosquitoes elsewhere. This is exactly what the internet is, a network of interconnected devices used for the global transfer of information. So in essence, we humans are the internet of the mosquito world. Let that just sink in. Tim Berners-Lee didn't create the internet. It was just based on existing mosquito technology. All of this might seem far-fetched, but the fact that our technology has been influenced by the superior race is undeniable. So what might the future hold for us? Surely, we can't be that far behind on the evolutionary scale. We will continue adapting into more efficient human beings, won't we? After using extensive computational techniques and conducting several anthropological and physiological studies, we try to come up with a picture of how humans might look centuries in the future. Bigger eyes and glasses because of the constant presence of screens in our lives. Long spindly arms and well-developed fingers due to lesser writing and more typing. 
changed back wall structures due to bad posture at the workplace and constant looking down at our mobile phones. Does all this point to the fact that we may evolve to emulate the superior beings that are mosquitoes? In conclusion, we'd like to rest our case that mosquitoes are indeed a superior race. But that isn't the end of it. There are plenty of other bizarre theories and possibilities to be explored. Uh, like, could the irresistible urge to sleep in class be an evolutionary advantage? Is the hole in your vada the solution to an age-old riddle? Is a structural similarity between nerve cells and snowflakes a coincidence? Or could the innocent goo-goo and gaga of a baby be some sort of alien language? If you think you have what it takes to connect the unconnected, look for the obvious or the not so obvious, question the normal and put things in ridiculous perspective. Join us at Fundamental, the unholy offspring of science and creativity.